The core mission of Live Green Tennessee is to disseminate information on the benefits of buying local and growing your own gardens. One of our partners in this mission is Scott Chadwell, Director of UT's Agricultural Extension Office in Putnam County. My name is Scott Chadwell. I'm one of the University of Tennessee Extension agents located in Putnam County. In our office, we have four agents, the agricultural agent, a family and consumer science agent, and two 4-H agents. Each county across the state will have an extension office located in their county. They're easy to find through the phone book under the county listings as county extension office. As an agricultural agent in Putnam County, the, our job has changed over the past years. The demographics across the state changes, which changes the purpose of our job. We have seen our county going from beef cattle and hogs and tobacco to a beef cattle and a small fruits and vegetables production. And in beef cattle, we're really looking at becoming more in tune with the consumer. The consumer wants to know that their product that they're buying at the store is a safe product. So we're looking at genetics, trying to keep the same products in the store for every producer. We're looking at identifying animals from the farm to the, the grocery store so we keep this food source safe. In the past, my job has, has gone from a lot of work with tobacco producers and feeder pig producers. Putnam County was once the largest feeder pig uh, market in the southeast. We were called the feeder pig capital of the southeast. That has gone away uh, because of uh, uh, corporate farms. But we still are large in the beef cattle industry. We have a little over 600 beef cattle producers in the county. Uh, the state is 10th in the nation in beef cattle production. We also used to be a large tobacco producer. We, in Putnam County alone, we had over 400 producers, and that has now dropped to about seven or eight. Macon County, in the northern part of Tennessee, is still the largest tobacco producer in the state. So what has replaced tobacco production in this county? A lot of farmers are moving into the, to the local fruit and vegetable market, a fresh market where they are producing fruits and vegetables for the local markets such as farmers markets, uh, locally owned stores, and uh, it, selling to individuals off of their farm. The 4-H program, Tennessee is, is, I believe, the number one state across the nation in total number of 4-Hers and national winners. 4-Hers, young people compete in projects from livestock to public speaking to technology-based courses. Uh, and usually that's done, it was done in Chicago and lately it's been in Atlanta. So we're really proud of the impact that 4-H has on our young people across the state. The judging teams, there's judging activities in livestock and family and consumer sciences and the environmental sciences such as soil science and wildlife judging. And these young people have an opportunity to compete on a regional basis and then a state basis and if they're one, if they're the top team out of the state. They go on to national contest where they get to compete against uh, multi-states across the nation for the national contest. And in Putnam County, we've been fortunate enough to have national winners a few times in, in judging contests. And this year alone, we have three teams that are going to national competition. The University of Tennessee Extension Service is open to all people. We handle a wide variety of subjects and problems for homeowners and farmers. If you have a question on beef cattle marketing, or if you have a question on recipes or nutrition and diet for your family, or if maybe you're new to the area and your family wants to get involved in 4-H, then we can help you. You can find us in the, in the county listings in the phone book under County Extension Office, or you can find us on the web at www.utextension.com dot utk dot edu